Tim Richmond. When you hear that name, you think about his legendary NASCAR racing career, his Hendrick Motorsports number 25 days, his nickname Hollywood, a ladies man, and his personality on and off track. Before he was a well-known legendary individual in the NASCAR world, his racing career did not start in stock cars. He started in open wheels. In this episode of Racing Stories, I'm going to talk about Tim Richmond's IndyCar career. With that being said, let's start from the beginning. Timothy Lee Richmond was born on June 7, 1955. Just an FYI, I'm going to be talking about his early days of racing only. Richmond's driving days started when he was given a go-kart to drive around various buildings and lawns while his parents were working for their own company, Richmond Manufacturing. Tim didn't start racing until the age of 21. He ran his first laps in a friend's sprint car on what was supposed to be a lark. Tim was soon turning laps faster than a regular driver. He was hooked. This is what he wanted to do with his life. In 1978, Tim Richmond continued to do sprint car racing for 12 races and one rookie of the year. Later on in 1978, Richmond competed in a mini IndyCar event, the Formula Super V Series, which was a support event at Phoenix. He won that race, and his win attracted sponsors and major owners like Roger Penske. In 1979, Tim Richmond made his kart debut at the 125-mile twin race at Michigan for the seventh race of the season. His father bought an Eagle IndyCar chassis in Offenhauser. Richmond started 21st. After four laps, Richmond suffered an engine failure and would finish dead last in 23rd. Therefore, he had to withdraw from the second Michigan 125 mile twin race. He did five races in 1979 kart season and only had one top 10 at Watkins Glen, finishing in 8th place. In 1980, he only made three starts in kart and two starts in USAC. Tim Richmond made his Indianapolis 500 debut for Match 1 Enterprises in a Penske chassis with a Cosworth engine. Tim would lead one lap. He would finish ninth, three laps down. After the checkered flag, Johnny Rutherford, who won the 1980 Indianapolis 500, he would pick up the young hot shot and Richmond was on Rutherford's side pod. Fans were loving it and both drivers shook hands after the short ride. Tim Richmond would win the 1980 Indianapolis 500 Rookie of the Year. Tim's next race was at Mid-Ohio, a home track of his. He started 19th but he had issues before the race went underway. However, he would not finish last. He would finish 21st out of 24th. John Wood, no not the Wood Brothers John Wood, would finish 22nd due to crashing as well. Danny Gaius finished 23rd due to ignition problems, and Sheldon Kinzer would finish last due to engine issues. Those incidents and issues happened before the start of the race. Tim's next race would be a kart race at Michigan. He would start in 17th place. Unfortunately, on lap 4, a big crash took place. That was just a blast. Everybody liked him. He had a great time. Uh, then there was a, a very bad accident. And we've got trouble. Trouble over in the first turn. A car slams into the wall. Points all over the racetrack. Dan Gurney looks like an engine line in the middle of the track. Cars making their way Very through. Serious. We've got a fire truck immediately on. Look at this. A driver climbing out. Tim Richmond has slammed. Mother was in Florida watching. And she got on the phone and called Tim's dad. And you get that boy out of that car now. Or I'm going to divorce you and you're not going to have a dime left, and if anything happens to him, I'm coming after all of you with a gun. So there ends Tim's open wheel, and here comes NASCAR. <laughs> After that crash from the 1980 kart race at Michigan, Tim Richmond would make his final IndyCar start at the 1981 Indianapolis 500 for Robert Schultz with the Parnelli chassis Cosworth engine. Tim would start dead last at 33rd, and he would finish 14th, 9 laps down in his last ever IndyCar race. And just like that, Tim Richmond's IndyCar career and open wheel racing career was over, and his NASCAR career was underway. His USAC IndyCar stats are 1 top 10 and 3 starts. He would only have 2 DNQs, and it was from the 1980 Milwaukee race and the 1981 Indianapolis 500, but I assume he had to buy a ride to get into the big race. In carts, he had 8 starts, he only withdrew from the 1979 Michigan race, and that was when he blew up his engine from the first Michigan race, so he did not make the second race. Those stats might be confusing because at the time, 
when he was in the sport, the car USAC split was a thing for two years. In my opinion, I think Tim Richmond's short IndyCar career was either decent or okay. In NASCAR, that is a whole different story. In 185 NASCAR Cup Series starts, Tim Richmond would have 13 wins, 42 top 5, 78 top 10s, and 14 poles. Unfortunately, the NASCAR world and the motorsports world will lose the man who had a personality of a Hollywood star and was a ladies man. Tim Richmond will lose his life on August 13, 1989 due to AIDS. He was only 34 years old. I do want to apologize if this episode was not the best. It was difficult to find a bunch of sources about his IndyCar career. I did the best I can do. If there was anything I had missed or got wrong about his racing career, please feel free to tell me in the comments below. A lot of help would be appreciative. Thank you. I want to say thank you guys so much for watching this episode of Racing Stories. Comment, like, and subscribe for more content and for, for more racing stories. This is Press 48 signing off. Goodbye, everybody.